a man who gives his all in every single game is sadly not going to be going to the place you wanted to go, Cadian. And I know how much you've dreamed of this and you've wanted it. At what point, though, did you think that like you were out of it? Because even on Mirage, there was a chance to come back in it, but on Overpass, it was slowly slipping away. Uh, I don't think until we lost, till it was like 14-3 something. At that point, I was like, okay, it's looking rough now. You know, I, I believe when we won the CT Pistol and the following round. Um, but to be honest, I don't know. Like uh, we just, we just weren't clicking today. You know, like uh, the communication was off. The decision making was extremely poor. Um, in terms of like when you get a kill, play time, give info to your teammates, tell your teammate who's next to you what you're going to do, what he's supposed to do, all this was just not on a good enough level. So it's fully deserved that Outsiders win. Um, yeah, we didn't deserve it today. Talk to me about some of the mindset you had going into today, because I think a lot of people maybe put you as favourites because of the, the way you guys have been playing, your own individual performance and just the chemistry your team has. Yeah. I mean, we saw ourselves as favourites today as well, but uh, they've been playing an insanely good tournament. Um, it's not an excuse, but also I don't think it helped playing the last game yesterday and then playing like early today. Um, but yeah, I don't know, like we had some reads about what they were doing. We didn't execute uh, properly on it. A lot of our philosophies that we practice every day was not executed well enough. And um, yeah, they were simply just better. There's not much to say. I think right now I haven't really realised that it's it's the fucking major final at us, you know, like uh, it's not easy to get back here, but I definitely believe that we are on the right path and all the hard work that we put into it, it's not going to waste just because we lose one game, you know, so I'm still proud of the boys. I was expecting more today, but yeah. And you had a, the hard side of the bracket for sure as well, right? You had some tough games. Would you say, considering if you look at past events, you've constantly going out in the semis, that getting to this grand final is something you can take that positive you were just talking about from? Yeah, I mean, not looking so much at like uh, what side of the bracket we're on and stuff like this, but just reaching the final, you know, like uh, we were in the semi-final at Stockholm, then we were quarter-final at Antwerp and now the major final. So, I mean, the consistency is there, the playoff runs are there, but we still need to become better. And uh, yeah, that starts already tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow as well, blood there. It never stops with you for sure. Now, Ken, I want to give you just one chance to look down the camera, say anything you want to say to leave us all with, mate. <sighs> yeah. Uh, I'm sorry to all of you who cheered for us. Uh, I'm super disappointed myself, obviously, but uh, it's been an amazing journey. And I think like many people are saying out there, if my story is not a sign that you can come back from having a rough period or, of people calling you out that you're never going to make it back, then nobody's fucking going to do it. So I'll come back stronger. I'll make more moves and keep fighting out there if you want to chase your dream as well. Mate, you've proven everyone wrong many times. We'll sure do it again.